seulement. Do we have Muslims want to join us? All right, okay. You are a Muslim? Hello, CP. What's up? You are a Muslim, my friend? Um, do you don't remember me from yesterday? In yesterday? No? Two days ago, maybe? I don't remember you. We, we had a very lengthy discussion on the Shia Muslim that we had a very long... You, you are a Shia? You are a Shia? Yes. Okay, as long as you are a Shia, uh, we'll, I, will, I will give you, I will give you an, uh, some help. You mentioned uh, to me, you, you mentioned to me, as I remember, that there is sheikhs today, like you mentioned to me, Sheikh Al Haidari, correct? Haidar, Kamal Haidari, yes. Uh -huh. And he said that there is a lot of fairy tales the Muslim they practice these days, correct? Sure, yeah. Is the flying carpet is in the Quran? But, uh, listen, maybe show me. I don't know. <laughs> what do you mean, maybe show me? <laughs> I, I, I don't know this part. I can't deny it because I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. Because, <laughs> I so don't want to say if it no. Is, if, if it is, it, yeah. do you agree that the Quran is full of fairy tale stories or not? No, why would I? Why would I? So I, how, how come you say to me, yes, I agree, there is fairy tale stories, just because I said it's in the Quran, eh, it's true. Because that falls within, if it's in the Quran, that falls within the miracle. I mean, what's wrong with having miracles? Okay, hold on. Who is the, who is the historian? He saw a flying carpet can carry an army, and the army goes all the way from Jerusalem all the way to Iraq. Do you see how far it is? All the way to the Babylon. So, um, so, and you know, according uh, to this, this is more, how many thousand miles? The, the, the uh, length of the, of my, the flying my carpet? Friend, uh -huh. My friend, AP, um, Saraha, I only have a couple minutes because I have to yani, go, but I promised you uh, two days ago okay. that I would come back and answer the questions you asked me, and I've written them down. Um, I can write this question down now, and I can come back later. No but, problem. Uh, I have, I mean, I, I'm in a rush, Yanni. What the question you want to answer right now? Give me the answer. What the question? You is? asked me a question about Surat al-Fatih, if you remember, mm -hmm. about uh, if the Prophet has sins or not. Mm -hmm. Um, and we had a very lengthy discussion with your uh, friends, I guess, colleagues this morning about this as well. So basically, um, we Shias, we follow different tafsir, uh, different explanations of the Quran. Uh -huh. um, we follow tafsir called tafsir al-Mizan. I'm going to send it in the group and so mm -hmm. we can maybe have a look at it. And you will see some very drastic differences between the Sunni explanation and then the Shia explanation. Give me, the, give me your tafsir. So, give me your answer. I sent the uh, website. No, no, tell me, tell me the answer. You know, give me the summary. I know, I know the book. I know the book very well. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, so basically, uh, Surah 2, uh, just let me just read it. Give me a, let me open up the Surah so people have context. In fact, number two. So basically, for the listeners, uh, it is a surah about um, the um, after the Treaty of Hudayba. There was a treaty between the Muslims, the newly emerged Muslims, and the, the idol worshippers of Mecca, where they signed a ten-year uh, ten-year treaty. Uh, uh, my friend, my friend, just give me the answer. Muhammad is a on. Muhammad is a, a sinner or not? Come on, come on. So hmm. basically, it says I'm going to read the surah that God may that God may cover by removing what is past of the evil consequence that they had against you and what is to come and that he may perfect his blessing upon you and guide you on a straight path and God will help you with a mighty help. So uh, you made a claim, a claim made against you? Sorry? You said made against you? I didn't understand. Uh, so yeah, so evil consequence that they had against you. So you you claim that... Where, where, it, says, you. where it says against you, what, what do you mean against you? Uh -huh. So then Bika goes back, if you if you study the etymology of the word Zenib, uh -huh. it comes from uh, the tail of an animal. Zenib is the tail of an animal. Why? Because when you do animals, they follow the tail of the other animal. Like, uh, for oh, example, so Zenbika now, it's a tail? 
That is the original etym- يعني, the etymology of that word. Now, the Arabs of the time, they use that word denib to refer to in a consequence that may happen if you, for example, committed a crime or anything against the person. For example, if I did something to you, I mean, this is hypothetical. Let's say I punched you يعني, in the street, for example. You would then retaliate. So now, before the retaliation, I have committed a denib on you. And so you're going to retaliate by maybe punching me back. That is the idea of denib. So, for example, in the Quran, there is a surah where Moses is telling God, um, I'm going to give you the, the rundown. I forgot the, 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 uh, the uh, full verse. But basically, he says to God, I have committed denib, uh, denib on the people of uh, Egypt or Egypt, the Pharaoh, mm-hmm. because his, uh, I believe his slave killed someone of their people. I can't remember the story. But the idea is Moses used denib not in the context of sin. He used it in the context of what I am explaining, a consequence. So in Arabic language, denib does not always come as a sin. It could come as a consequence. So what the God was doing here, especially when we t- talk about the context of this surah, the context is about uh, the prophets, because he has gained a lot of grudges in the, the people of Mecca. Because one, he during the battles, during the wars, he killed and his army and himself. He killed many of the opponents, the, the opposition or the Meccan uh, people, the idol worshippers. Number two, he destroyed their religion, according to the Quran. Uh, and so he gained a lot of grudges from the other side. And he was, uh, and the God would, in this case, remove this grudge, remove the grudges that they had against him. I want to stop so with you. Had... I want to stop with you so we can laugh together at the interpretation you gave me. Yeah, Allah. Le- but this is the, the word, le- the word uh, ريغفر, is that true? It means forgive? Ghafran comes from the word uh, removing or shadowing. Is it forgive? Yes. Okay. Uh, it could so forgive. if what you are saying is true, then this word is wrong. Because I forgive you only if Shadow. you do. You mentioned to me he killed the opponent. Well, Allah told him to kill, to kill them. This is not the sin. Here is speaking about sin. So Allah will forgive the one in the past and the one in the future. So the word Dhambaka always in the Quran come as a sin. And who, who is the one who forgive the dhunub? The Quran says Allah, dhunub always come as sin. So here there's a word is called forgiveness, not remove. The, you know, you are adding words is not there to make it fit with something else. My friend, uh, but I just gave you an example in the Quran when Moses. No, 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 no. You know, you see, here we go. You can give me, you can give me many examples from the Quran. The word, okay. If I, if I, uh, if I type the words them, them here in the in the in the Quran, we will find that always come as sin. Correct. Yes, no, I just gave you an example of an ayah in the Quran. No, there is no, there is no such a thing. Moses told his Lord, this is 62.14, people can uh, <laughs> fact check this. 62, 64, 14, okay, 64 what? 62.14, also 62. they have a charge against me and I fear they will kill me. All right, read it with me. Charge their okay, read it for me in Arabic. You said 62.14? 62, 62.14 now. 14? Yes, 14. 6214. Yeah. I know the, the Quran I have does not I have 14. 1462. I read it opposite because it's Arabic. 1462, my bad. Oh, okay. All right. That make uh, all right. 1462. All right. Okay. Read it for me in Arabic. <clears throat> You said to me 1462? 14, 14, yes. 1462? Yes. All right. Which Quran are you reading? The Quran. <laughs> well, I don't know. Chapter 14, there is no 62. Can you tell me the Quran you have printed by who? Sorry, one second. Surah Al Ghufran, one second. Ah, Al Ghufran. Uh, no, no, one second. Ah, okay. Uh, All right. 
Let me go back and reread because I this is from my memory. Um, the funny is you are saying to me this is in the Rufran, right? What Rufran mean? Forgive. <laughs> Uh, if you want, I can help you to find it. No problem, you know. But uh, <clears throat> my memory is failing me really badly right now. One second. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> this is in the chapter of Al Qasas. Ah, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It is uh, uh, 60, 26, 14. This is Arabic, so the two and the six got switched. You mean, uh, 20, you mean 28, 28, 28, 16. That 26, 14. Okay, 26, 14. Okay, 26. Okay, 26. Ah, okay, 26, 14. Wonderful. Okay. All right. So here it doesn't say... Uh, that he is sinner? No, it is وَلَهُمْ عَلَى ذَنْبٌ فَأَخَافُ أَنْ يَقْتُلُونِي Okay, but did he commit a crime for it or not? No, it's not a crime. It's not? Are you sure? He did not commit a crime. He himself did not commit a crime. Are you sure? This is what I know. Didn't his slave kill someone? Okay. Well, here we go. Chapter 28, verse number 16. It says he did. And he admit that he did wrong. <laughs> Where? It's in the front of you. Let me see. Uh, he said, my Lord, verily I have wronged myself, so forgive me. Then he forgave him, verily he is the author. Ah, uh, one second, one second, one second. Again, mm. this is, um, so you, there's a, a very pivotal idea between uh, Sunnism, Shiism, Sunnism. We are using Quran. We are using Quran. I did not use Shia. I did not use Sunni now. We are using the Quran. Come on, Habibi. I will open up my text here. So this is Al Qasas, which is, I believe, 28, yes? Mm -hmm. I will read you our Quran, our Hani translation. All right. 28, or Tafsir, 28, 16. Uh -huh. You are reading your Tafsir that he killed somebody. So yes, he killed, and he's asking for forgiveness. Hmm. So, He said, my Lord, surely I have done harm to myself, so do thou forgive me. So he forgave him. He forgave him. He is forgiving the merciful. So part of the verse. Okay, I will write this down, because I don't want to take much time. For all me. right, all right. Back. Okay. The, so the question is not answered, and the question is wrong. The answer is wrong. For Muhammad, obviously, is a sinner. And you Muslims, you, you see, you Muslims are pagans because you believe that Muhammad is God, and he never commits sin, which is obviously... Uh, by the way, um, I don't want to go off track here, but what is your definition of pagan? Uh, many, there's many. I mean, there's even, you can be an atheist and you're a pagan, you know? Pagan is, uh, is simply, uh, right. you know, worshipping something, idea. Not necessarily you call it God. Like there's people, they worship sex. That is Islam. Uh, they kiss stones, believe that is going to forgive their sin. Oh. That is Islam. Come on, I just want a clear they, they worship. Believer. They worship a family of a, a prophet and they believe they are divine. Well, that is Islam. They, uh, uh -huh. they bow down in front of rocks. And they believe if they touch those rocks is going to forgive their sin. That is Islam. They they have many rocks. They, they are called holy. Like uh, the Shia, they have the grave of this guy and the grave of that guy and the grave of that we guy. Worship, uh, the, the you, eat, you eat even the dirt of the grave to the point the government in Iraq, they keep adding dirt. Is that true or am I lying? Not true. If I show you videos right now, Shia eating dirt from the graves. Uh, of course, and I can show you. I, I can, by the way, I can help your case here by giving you even worse videos. We have a lot of crazy shit going on. Sorry, can I curse? Okay, I, maybe I can't curse here. Um, um, there are a lot of bad things going on in the South, and I am with you here. It's right. crazy stuff, right? Uh, but this is not within the religion. 
This is when people go crazy, right? Just like how we have a lot of sects in Christianity that went crazy, right? But you cannot no, be no, any... You see? Use it's, that as an hold, example. Hold on, hold, no, no, no. Hold, hold on, hold on. No. No one, no one in Christianity, he can come and say that, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, like in order to be Christian, you have to believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. The second you go out of that line, you are no Christian. So, but that's he, the thing. We don't consider them Shias if they do this. <laughs> oh, no, no, because no. Because they no, also uh, went outside these, these, these no, say, Shia, uh, no. first of all, Shia as a concept is about those who support Ali and his family against those who go against him. It's not really, uh, you know. Yeah, but you have to first fulfill the condition of being a Muslim. You can't be a Shia and then not what being a Muslim. What a condition? You, 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 even, you, even you have your own Shahada. You don't have Shahada like the rest of the Muslims. No, no, no. We have the same Shahada. Don't you add Ali? We, this is optional. Oh, optional. I like options always. <laughs> yeah, it's optional. The, the third Shahada. I love options. The third All right. is optional. I mean, the idea is to be a Shia. It's simply you, you believe that the leadership should be within the Prophet's family. Uh, but you told me last time, you remember, that we believe that the family of um, a Prophet Muhammad, they are kind, you, I, I will quote your word exactly, you, you said they are kind of divine. They have divinity in them, yes. Okay, so are they human or divine? They are human, but yeah. they have divinity. So they are human divines? They are, by, by the way, I, let me elaborate what I mean by divinity. So... I'm not talking as they are, I mean, I'm not saying they are above mankind. Really? They have divinity in them as in they have al al Al-Mulghayb is the knowledge, the knowledge of the unknown. Yani, they have a part, God has given them a part of his knowledge. All right, I, 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 wanna, I wanna make it simple. What is the knowledge of Ali of the unknown? Uh, basically, he, he knows things that we don't know. Yani. Like what? Like or, what? Like what? For example, I mean, this is I mean, a point of debate within the Shia school of thought. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, Some of us believe that, for example, he has the knowledge of the creation of the universe, for example. He has the knowledge of, um, of a lot of... I mean, where, 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 you, where do you get those knowledge from? Where, where we can find them? And there are a lot in the coffee and stuff. All right. So, but you remember when I mentioned to you Al Kafi, you say, hey, you know, there's a lot, you know. If you read the last, wow. you, you said to me, if you read the last page of that book, it says not everything there is true, you know. So, what is what this is fiction is about? With a, with, a, with a grain of salt. And that's why you need to, when you do Tasheh, and when you um, check the validity of a hadith, uh -huh. you have to follow. So, basically, in Shiaism, we have Akhbari. Do you know, okay. Do you know I, okay. I, I want to go with you. So hey, when when have, when hey. Ali when Ali he predicted hey. that there is a country it's called Brazil and they play football is that a true story? <laughs> that would be funny if it was true. Well, this is in your book, my friend. You know. <laughs> <laughs> It would be pretty funny. Well, this is okay. You see, you are saying to me he knew the unseen and he is divine. And now the Muslim Shia, they have a prediction that Ali, he said that there is a nation, it's called Brazil, Ali said. It's called even the name, the name, the country. And uh, they play with something small, like the egg. <laughs> but it's Can like... Show me that? The, because that would be pretty funny if that was the case. Okay, hold on. Give me a second if you want to see it. Sure. Uh, let me see if I can find it in English. I'm 17 years old. Uh, in English first. Otherwise, we can play it in Arabic. Give me a second. Uh, We will see if we can find it. <clears throat> ah, okay. Let us see this one here.
All right. Um, Give me a second. Hurry, yeah. Good. Because I only have a couple minutes left. Okay, no problem. I will, I will, I will play the video. ICP. <laughs> Give me a second, please. Hello. OCP. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, did you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I uh, see the the uh, source? The uh, okay, but you know, you said you don't have time. Maybe next time you come, we can we can go to the source. Yeah, I, I have to leave. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, what is this? Brazil. Did he mention Macy, by the way? Macy's or anyway? Maybe he was for Turk, who knows? All right. Okay. You, good, to you, good, you... good to have you, my friend. Uh, you can come back later oh. if you have time. Um, no, uh, let me just finish these points because I have to leave at 11.30 because I promised you I, I would answer um, these points here. Um, uh, or do you want me to do this another time? It's up to you. Uh, no, go. Sure. It's okay. You know, go. Oh, come on. All right, then. Um, thanks for having me. Oh, did you mean go and explain or go? I yeah, yeah, leave? continue, continue. Ah, oh, come on, sorry. Uh -huh. uh, all right, let's see here. So number two was Pesos, women for women. Uh, sorry, free for free, uh -huh. uh, free for the free. I believe it was slave for the slave uh -huh. and uh, women for women. Mm -hmm. So, if I go to Tafsir al Mizan, the uh -huh. one I uh, sent, let me just have the verse. Uh -huh. Can you remind me of the verse? Chapter 2, 178. Chapter 2, 178. Oh. So, I'm just going to read this real quick English translation. Oh, we, oh, you who believe. Retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of the slain, the free for the free, and the slave for the slave, and the female for the female. But if any remission is made to any one by his brother, uh, then the demand for the blood wits should be made according to usage, yani the blood money, and payment should be made to him in a good manner. This is an alleviation from your Lord and a mercy, so whoever exceeds the limit after this, he shall have a painful chest. Uh, chest. Mm -hmm. Hard work to pronounce. Mm -hmm. Chastisement, and there is life for you in the retaliation, O men of understanding, that may uh, that you may guard yourselves against evil. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what, when did this ayah come down? It's a, it was a, it's a lot of context to this. So, Arab tribes. Um, mm -hmm. This is one of the shameful things that I have to admit about our tribes here in the, in the, the Middle East, especially in Iraq, in the south of Iraq. There are a lot of issues between tribes. And the more powerful your tribe is, the bigger the issue is. So, for example, let's say I, I owned a slave back in the days. And uh, my slave, for example, killed a slave of a p more powerful tribe. What that more powerful tribe would do is like, you know, because I am more powerful, the retribution would be a free man to be killed instead, not a slave. And so they would kill an innocent free man. Another example, for example, let's say a woman from my family killed a, a woman from another family. But that family is much more powerful. And this happened a lot. And it still happens today, by the way. Um, for example, there was a case about a couple of years ago where an Arab, Arabic tribe, these are like very, you know, very retarded tribes. Uh, a tribe killed a chicken, a chicken from a farm from another Arabic tribe. And so what did that Arabic tribe retaliate? Because they were Jubur, Jubur, yani, a very famous tribe in Iran. Yeah, I know that. They okay. killed a man over it. They killed yeah. a man over it, right? Because they're more powerful. How dare you even touch our tribe? And so this, uh, this verse was brought down in this sense. That, uh, the, the free for the free. And if a free man kills a free man, the free man gets killed. Not, uh, for example, the father or uh, two people or three people or four people in response to that free man that was that was killed 
Um, if a slave kills a slave, the slave uh, gets يعني, the retribution, not the free man. If the woman gets, uh, gets killed by a woman, the husband cannot be killed, or the father cannot be killed, the brother cannot be killed. So this was a massive issue back in the days during the Arabic uh, jahiliya, يعني, uh, let's say. You, you uh, say to me that this is from Al-Mizan? Um, this yeah. is from Tafsir al-Mizan, yes. Yeah, Al-Mizan doesn't say what you're saying. It's not Tafsir al-Mizan. You said Al-Mizan. No, the Sabrasi, Tab-Tabai, Tab-Tabai wrote the Tafsir al-Mizan. Yeah, you, you went Al-Mizan, or you're talking about which Tafsir? Tafsir al-Mizan. Okay, I vote for you Al-Mizan. It doesn't say what you are saying. No, you are, Tafsir al-Mizan. You are adding, your, my, my friend, you are, you are adding your own spice. Here we go, it's in front of me. Yes, that's the Tafsir al-Mizan. All right, thank you very much. Here we go. So here, none of what you are saying, you know, it, 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 what it says, a, a, a free man, he will not be killed for a slave. Where do you get this story? If you kill a slave of mine, I kill a free, I kill a free of yours. Same time, same, you know, you mentioned something. You mentioned that if there is a slave, he killed a slave. Right, what we kill? A slave, correct? Yes. Okay, yes. what is the case if a slave kill a free man? What, what the case is then, if a free man kill a slave? Where we can find that in the verse? Uh, in this verse, it's not talking about that. There's another verse that talks about that. No, 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 it's talking. By the way, this, this verse is abrogated. Why? No, no. Yes, it's abrogated. My friend, it's, abrog it's abrogated. <laughs> my, my, my friend, it comes from another verse. Okay, this, this particular okay my verse, friend. There's no other verse except you have to, have to accept the abrogation. And here it says that in the case of murder, are you saying to me, your God, Allah, he forgot to make a law and to add all the cases in it in the verse? He made in the case of a free, if a free man kill a free man, if a white, if a white man kill a white man, the white man will be killed. If a free man kill the black man, black man will be killed, which means we go and kill his slave. This is what it's saying. al hurru bil hur Free for free. Who, who, who is and, the free? Who is the free? Is the white Arab man. Who is the slaves? Is the you know you are from Iraq. There is a there is a revolution called the Zinj revolution. You heard of it, correct? In Basra. Okay. Yes. In the time of the Shia, especially taking over the the caliphate, uh, uh, and Sunni actually, it's the same. The, the 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 capture of slaves, black slaves from Africa, became in the top to the point. All the north of Iraq became the land of a black slaves. So those became hundreds of thousands, if not millions. And now they make a revolution to take over the country. And then the Arab, the white Arab, they slaughtered them all. And now almost we have zero black people in Iraq. Maybe there's a few here. Yeah, there. They're not zero. They're, they're quite a lot, actually. Yeah, yeah after you killed all 99% with them, maybe. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, I don't know much about the story. So yeah, I can't really but here, here, my friend, here we go. The story, what you are mentioning, says okay. in the front of you, you said to me, it's not abrogated, read with me. In the ayah, okay. which ayah? In the nafsa bin nafs, you see it? So I said to you, it's abrogated. You said, no. This guy is answering the uh, okay. Sunni perspective. Okay. In the ayah nasikha, yani it means it is not nasikha. All right. So he's explaining why okay. it's not nasikha. All right. So the right. Sunni they say it is it is abrogated. The Shia yes. they, they keep it. But if you keep it, then you have to follow what it says. Nowhere it say what you are saying. But it does. Where? Go Where? to the next page. Go to the next, there are two pages after this, by the way. Okay. Page yeah. number 40, 443. Yeah. And within these two pages, it, it's all about this ayah. And 433, 433, right. 444 all right. talks all about this. Okay. Uh, let us see here. Can you tell me which page exactly? Because I don't see what you are saying. I need to go I'm ahead. reading page 433. By the way, you can open the link. I said there's an English translation so for the people. No problem. You can post the link. No problem. So I think it is, um, um, this is in English, I can't wait. My friend, 
Give me wh which, which page in Arabic, which page in Arabic so we can see, then we can go to the English. It is 286 from the link I sent. Oh, okay. 286? This is not to the link. We are in the page 400. The verse. Okay. Okay. The English translation of Ibn Isa. Okay. All right. So here, actually, this is page three or four, two eight two nine six two three two eighty two. All right. Look like they have different order here. No problem. Let's show it to everybody. All right. So you have to go down all the way to two eight six. Two eighty six. All right. Okay. Let it go on the top of it. All right. Before the advent of Islam and until the verse was revealed, the Arab believed that requiting re, uh, a murder with killing, but retaliation had no defined limit. It's all depend on the strength of the uh, or the weakness of the aggra uh, aggravate party. Sometimes they killed a man for a man and a woman for a woman. Thus, keeping balance between the crime and it is punishment at other time they killed 10 person for one free man for a slave a chief of land for an ordinary man many times tribe destroy another just retaliation for one man jews believe retaliation as we see in the chapter 22 20, uh, 21 22 genesis and chapter thirty-five and, and number. You see, th this is a this is a moderate uh, interpretation, correct? And it's not; it cannot be true, because simply, yeah, because look, you are copying from Genesis what the law is, but the but Genesis oh, did yeah. not say what they are saying. Yeah. Listen, listen. Okay, hold on. Life for a life, eye for an eye. So Muhammad, we agree. Muhammad is copying the law of Moses, eye for an eye, but this is not eye for an eye. I just continue reading and right, understand. Okay, okay. Let, us, let us continue. Okay. The, the Christian reported they recognize only remission of uh, and payment of a blood money and the matter of murder, and uh, all associate uh, and nations with their differences. Okay. Islam ad, uh, uh, output the uh, opted, oh, sorry. For a middle course between the confrontation, confrontation of retaliation and uh, negation, uh, it prescribed in retaliation but did not make it ob obligatory. <laughs> That's even more horrible. It's allowed. Why is that horrible? Yeah, we, 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 so it's if, a law. If you're, is it a law? You forgive the person, doesn't have to be killed. Okay, hold on. Yeah, no, no, no. You see, uh, uh, it's, Islam is always about options because. You are talking about the blood money, right? And the blood money or forgive. So you you are the one you are the one who mentioned killed. to me, my friend. You are the one who mentioned to me. If a tribe hey. is so powerful, hey. the one who is weak, what he can do? Nothing. Exactly. So here, okay. this, so what this he verse do? came they down. For, they to force him. They force him to forgive. No, they didn't force him. Either you kill, Yanni. The, the, the retribution is only for the murderer. Or the can forgive him in return for blood money. Who is going? Who is going to enforce a huge tribe? It is ninety percent of the nation. <laughs> Nobody. Anyway, let us continue. So That's not the, the objection has been laid against the law of retaliation in general, and the capital punishment that is retaliation by killing. In practical, uh, pr particular, particular. Talking about today's situation. So no, where 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 it says it's not it's not free for free no more. I want to see it. It what says here, read it, read carefully, okay. my friend. This is the page you gave me. It's prescribed okay. retaliation, but uh, did not make it obligatory for allowed permission and payment of a blood money. Then laid okay. uh, uh, the phone, the foundation, sorry, of justice by prescribing equity between murderer and the murdered, telling that the free for the free and the slave for the slave and female for free, female. Nothing changed. It's exact what we said. So in the case of, of, you know, why are we going back in a circle? If you go back two pages, it explains that part. 
we're done with that part. We already explained what free for free and slave for slave. No, 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 no way to say is what you are saying. Free for, but okay, we, hold on, I, okay. My friend, okay. Just go so, back two pages okay. so, and we can go over can this you, can, you, can, you show, can you show me where there it says, if a free man right. killed a slave man, he will be killed? Show, yeah, you should go back two pages. Two pages, which which line? Okay, two pages. Is that page uh, 285? Uh, Sorry, sorry, not two pages. My bad. I'm at the beginning of that page that you were in, and two eighty six, beginning of it. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, here. All right. Yes. Before this... the advent of Islam, uh -huh. until this verse was revealed, the Arabs believed in requiring a murder with killing, but the retaliation had no defined limit. I know, I so know. Sometimes... We, we we said that already. Hey. Now Muhammad. Yes. Now the Quran put the limit. Show me what it says. If a free man hey. killed a black man, the free man would be killed. So, so what you're trying to say is you want this in the Quran. Well, the Quran says a free for free, slave for slave, women for women. So if a free yeah. man, free man will not okay. be killed, my friend, a free man, free. free man will not be killed for killing a slave man. Otherwise, show me where it says that. You and I both speak Arabic, yes? Mm -hmm. So do you know that... Let me read the uh, Arabic. Yeah, if you go, I can go scroll up and you can read the Arabic as well along with me. Ya yulibin aminu kutiba alaykum al qisasu fil qatla al hurru bil hurri. What what does it mean when there is when bil hurru is marfu at the end? It means this is what al mudar. Well, hurri means what al mafool bihi. What does that mean? It means that the person al hurru is killing what. الحري يعني الحر قصاص بالحر الحري يعني ما فهمت وي ار وي ار نوت 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 وي ار Okay, now okay, now we're going back to what we're talking about earlier. For these particular cases, when when it is uh, blunt murder, yani a straight murder, uh -huh. right? There are verses not in that other verses that talks about the retribution of al qisas. Al qisas is mentioned in other in other in other uh, verses. Our friend, you are, this you are, particular you are to verse cover, you are trying to cover. About I will show you. I will show you tons of interpretation made by the Shia and the Sunni, and all of them they agree that a, a white man will not be killed for killing a black man, slave man. So yeah, you are making things up, my friend. Yeah. So if we go and read the interpretation, like, uh, Wait, um, with all due respect, Christian Prince, um, I. By the way, do you want me to keep calling you Christian Prince, or do you have a name that you go by? You can call me Muhammad sometime. I feel like I'm a prophet sometime, but sometime, not all the time. <laughs> uh, uh, regardless, I'm I, just I, I, I am eight, eight minutes past because uh, uh -huh. I have a meeting. And I, all right. Like my job. Okay, you can come later. Come later. We will be here. We will be here for some time. Come back. Um, there are three more points we couldn't answer FedEx, Destiny, and. Uh, it's all right. What else? We, we will continue. We will continue. We'll talk about that later. Good to have you. Thank you for having me. Uh, wish uh, everyone here a nice uh, evening and bye bye. Take care.